Hi, this is Sharina with Sharina Shack Scraps. Thank you for joining me again today. This is our August project. And here I have the word adventure because isn't that what summers are about? Adventures and vacations. This is just kind of a quick little mini since we don't seem to have a lot of time in the summertime. Um, but a, a way we can save some of our memories. So here I have a, it's a coin uh, envelope mini album and let me take you on a tour through this one so on the end see if I've got this in camera here it flips open and in each end pocket we have a tag and then this is a short pocket and it has a smaller tag and then here's the other end I need to put some pictures in here and then this is how we bind our album together. It's one of the hinge pieces here. Here's one. Here's another short pocket. Okay. Another long pocket that's coming out of our envelope. Again, we have another hinge bit that you can hold tags in. Another long pocket. One more short pocket. And one more long pocket. And the paper here is Storytellers Club, which is a local papering company, um, and it's their adventure one. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. All right, first of all, well, I might have to zoom out just a little bit, just to be safe. Let's try that, see if that works. Okay, you are going to need six coin envelopes Okay, and if you don't have any, you can make your own. They measure, let's see, they're three and three eighths inches by six inches. Three and three eighths by six inches, and you can make these, I mean, any size you want, really. But you need six of these, and on three of them, you're going to put adhesive here at the top of three, and then we're going to adhere them together with the two flaps together here. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's easiest to go like this so that adheres these two pieces together and then I just trim this off so here's our score line right here so trim it at a half an inch away from that score line oh, my thing is locked because we're going to make a hinge out of that for our short pocket okay so do that to the other four pieces. You need two to make this piece and then this hinge piece, okay? And I have done that already here for some of these. And notice I've put adhesive on both sides of these, so let's hurry and do that. Only my, oh, there's my adhesive. It wasn't where I thought it was. All right. And you can set those three now we have three page pieces aside. I've got one, two, and three. All right, set those aside, and we're going to make the short pocket that goes on this piece right here. The short pocket measures um, seven and a quarter inches by four quarters inches, and then we're going to score this, that's this piece right here, so seven and one quarter inches by four inches. And then we're going to score this piece at three and three eighths. So that's the little line between the three and a quarter and three and a half. It's the three and three eighths, all right. And then turn it around. This is what I found is easiest. Turn that around and then score it at one half an inch right here. So three and three eighths right here. Turn it 180 degrees and then score it at the half inch mark. I hope that makes sense. And you're gonna do that with three pieces because we have three short pockets. And fold it all up like this, okay? And I put adhesive on here. Peel off your adhesive and make a pocket. See how there's, it's like a tube right now. It's a tube, it's going to be a pocket. And I have already done the other two so I have three here now now we're going to adhere these 
by sliding the open tube part onto the hinge, just like that, and adhering it down. So it will make this middle pocket. All right, we're going to do that with three of these, and then we're going to hook the album together. Let's see, can you tell which way the words are going here? All right, there's one. I have it on there crooked. I'll have to fix it later. All right. All right, and we're gonna go this way. Yeah, that would folded better, didn't it? And three. So quickly as the album goes together, super quick. And slide it down. There we go. So now we have three pieces that have a half pocket or a short pocket in between them all. You see all those in camera. Pretty close. All right, now we need to hook them together. So we're gonna fold two of these up and set this third one aside. Go like this. Now this is our hinge piece that holds our album together. This piece measures four inches by three and three eighths because these envelopes are three and th three eighths. That's where I keep getting the three and three eighths measurement. Four inches and you're gonna score this at two right down the middle, okay? And then we're going to attach one side here and the other side here so that it will hold our album together. And I like to use wet glue for this part because it seals everything up and my pockets won't stick. If I put stuff in my pockets, it won't stick. All right to make sure my words are straight up and down. You adhere it to the one side and, oh, I didn't point this out, so I'll show it to you in just a second. I only put adhesive on three sides. I did it on the two short sides and then the side that has the hinge on it so that I can still use this as a pocket. I'm gonna do the same thing here though, so you can see it a little bit better, hopefully. If you're planning on matting these pages before you attach this, you might want to do that now. Um, but I really liked the color that went with this. I just want to use the envelope. So I bring them close together and I fold it over. See how there's the glue on just the two short sides and then along the folded edge. And that attached my album together. Short and simple, right? Here's the short pocket. And we're going to do it again with our other hinge piece. Now there are two hinge pieces, okay? But you need to cut out three because we're going to use the third one for the binding. So for two of them, just as a recap, two of them we're scoring at two inches down the middle. All three of them measure four by three and three eighths two are scored at two inches. I'm having a hard time holding this. Okay, let's do it this way. All right. And adhesive again across the top. Along the side, the bottom scored edge. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And you only need two to complete that six inch. Now if you wanna keep, or six pages, excuse me. If you wanna keep adding pages, you'll just keep adding more hinges, all right? Now to score our hinge, or the piece that I'm gonna wrap around here to make the binding, okay? This also measures four inches by three and three eighths inches, but we're going to score this one. Let me find this at one and three at one and three quarters 
two inches and two and one quarter. Or you could skip the two inch one and just make it straight and flat if you wanted it to be flat. If you want it to have a little bit of a round, then score that two, that two inches as well. All right. And of course, if you make more pages, you're going to want to increase the size of that, those score marks. All right, now again, I'm going to put adhesive on the top and along the first score line because it's in a little bit different spot, but I still want to make a pocket out of that back piece there. And then place your album on it, just a scant distance away from the edge. Just make sure that this is pushed down correctly. And then adhesive again up to that first score line around the top. And this one you kind of have to pay attention to because of that those extra score lines. All right, there we go. And that is your completed fun little mini album. Now, the measurement for these long tags, which go, oh my goodness, and we totally forgot. I forgot to tell you. We need to cut off the ends of all these. Usually you do it first, but because I forgot, you can do it next if you'd like. Haha. <laughs> and I just take off about an eighth of an inch, just a tiny bit off of each end of each of these sides, okay? And you can go ahead and do that with your other five. Whoops. All right, so these tags now will actually slide in here because they're not sealed. <laughs> All right, they go in like this. Let me tell you how big they are because right, I forget. They're six inches by three. Yeah, six by three. And that's for the long ones. Maybe if I can get it in here. All right. For these short pockets, they are three inches by this pocket here, three inches by five inches. And there's a lot of room in there. You could stick four or five tags in there with all your pictures, kind of fun. Now, one other thing I wanted to note, which I haven't done in this, in this one yet because I wanted to add my pictures. This is open right here. To seal that off, either adhere a matte paper down or adhere your picture down. I know that I did it right here. Because I sealed this end, now my tag won't come out or fall through anymore. But always add either a mat or something to seal those bottom pockets on all of those little pieces. That was just one other thing. Let me think, is there anything else I need to tell you? Nope. You need six of the big tags and three of the smaller tags. And it looks like you will be set for lots of fun adventures for the summertime. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to visit my blog at shorinashackscraps.blogspot.com for more fun ideas. And visit my website for more patterns and tutorials. I have digital stuff and traditional mini albums on my website at shorinashack.com. Thanks. Bye.